Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in as always. Okay y'all, so for this week's natural hair video, um, I wanted to come to you all and just have a real conversation about my updated products list. And I'm doing this just so you all can come for my head. <laughs> yes, it is true because there has been several occasions where I show y'all what I'm using on my hair and somebody always has a comment about what I use on my hair because they are technically not the typical natural hair care products and that's okay <laughs> but that's a disclaimer I do not use the traditional natural hair products because when I went natural everybody was not out here trying to make a natural hair care product so I use what works what has been working so I'm here to let you all know where I am in my natural hair care journey what I'm using what's working what doesn't work what I've stopped using and my new favorite product. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, I'm gonna talk to you all about my conditioners and what I'm using now to co-wash my hair. All right, so here we go. I'm now using the Cantu Shea Butter Hydrating Cream Conditioner. I recently, not recently, for a few months now, I have been using this for my co-wash. I absolutely love it. Um, I used to use Suave in the green bottle. Um, it just seemed like the longer and the thicker my hair got, the less suave did for my hair and since i've been using this my hair is a lot softer and it's easier for me to like run my fingers through and it just i don't know it feels better on my hair so next up i'm going to show you all my other conditioner which is my leave-in conditioner and i am still using cantu shea butter leave-in conditioner but i don't know how recently they dropped this but it is one of their newer products it is the cantu leave-in conditioner with argan oil I'm not the person that runs to the store as soon as something new hits the market because I found out for the most part what works for my hair. But I did see this on the shelf the other day, so I was like, let me try it. I must say, I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think there was going to be a big difference just because argan oil is infused into this leave-in conditioner. I was very wrong, and I'm happy about it. Um, I love this, and I don't see myself ever putting this down unless y'all send me some like free products. Um, it's not happening. When my hair has been so moisturized and soft for a longer period of time since I've started using this as my leave-in conditioner, I was really shocked how soft and moisturized this kept my hair. Typically, um, I would need to like moisturize Maybe after two, three days, I could feel my hair shifting. Um, now it's like four to five. It's really impressive. And I would definitely credit argan oil, you know, being infused into this. And also, another good thing, I feel like I don't have to use as much of my leave-in conditioner as I had to in the past. So this is a must. I would definitely encourage you all to look at that, okay? Next up, I know some of y'all are gonna get y'all's absolute lives about what I'm about to tell y'all. So, I don't remember who it was, but I remember one woman in particular that was like, girl, you still using Blue Magic? And I was like, oh my God, like, where are y'all coming from me? Y'all listen, I'm done messing with Blue Magic. Yes, y'all. Go ahead, everybody who told me so, and that came from my life. Y'all are right, I'm done. Y'all listen, I thought I had lice or something crawling up in my head these past few months. And I'm like, I don't understand what is going on because I used to use it a lot more than what I did here recently. I quit, started back on it. And that was the only thing that had shifted in my hair regimen was blue magic. And I should have known because it is a heavy grease and it does have a lot of petroleum in it. And that clogs your pores, can make your head itch and all of that. And my sister had recently told me the same thing. She thought she was having like an allergic reaction to blue magic. And it did not really start affecting me until here lately. But y'all, I'm done. I had about two, three bottles of blue magic, threw it in the trash. But I will say this, if blue magic works for you, boo, Keep your blue magic. Don't let these people tell you different, okay? Until your hair start itching, you use your blue magic. <laughs> but I have found another grease. I used to use it, but I quit for whatever reason. I really don't remember why because I've always loved it. It is the Softy Light and Natural Hair and Scalp Treatment, also known as Indian Hemp. 
Okay, so I basically just use this as like my grease on my hair. I love Indian hemp, <laughs> so I don't know why this feels so much different on my hair. I mean, of course there's different ingredients in this versus what is in Blue Magic, but I don't have any complaints with this. And also it smells good, so I will be using this for my grease for the time being. Okay, y'all, so now that my ego is shot and I had to let y'all all know y'all was right and I was wrong, <laughs> We're gonna keep it moving. So next, I just wanted to um, talk about like my oil. The oil hasn't changed. I will forever use Africa's Best herbal oil and olive oil. Yeah, some people are really into all of the different oils. I don't really have any comments on that just because I don't, I don't use them. I just stick to this, okay? Okay, so next, I wanted to talk about like my holding gels and what I use to smooth out my hair and everything like that. But so I am still using Eden Body Works coconut edge control y'all don't see this a lot in my videos because as y'all know i'm not that big of a fan of laying edges per se um on myself but y'all i have had this for probably about two years and i still have so much left it's ridiculous that's how much I don't use edge control. This is one of two things that I have that you cannot get at Walmart. So you'll have to look up where to get this. I think I got this at like a natural store that sells like almonds and stuff. Not like a natural hair care store. That was a bad example, but bear with me y'all. <laughs> Okay, so that's my edge control. And next, I wanted to show you all my gel. So that is something that has changed, but you will have seen my new gel in my most recent natural hair tutorial. So it is my Eco Styling Gel with Argan Oil, okay? So I just decided to follow the trend. I'm like, well, if Argan Oil can change the game for leave-in conditioners, let me try it for my Eco Styling Gel. And lo and behold, I love it, y'all. No complaints. Something that I really like about this is that it it does not flake like at all. I haven't seen any flakes. I know with the regular green eco styling gel, I did experience flakes here and there, but I have not seen any with this. Okay. And then something else I really like about it is that it holds really well, but it's definitely not a hard hold. Okay. And I would experience that with the green one. It was nothing compared to like old school gels, but it still had a little bit of that. This is a very soft and smooth gel. It is something that I definitely think I'm going to be rocking with for a while. And lastly, I wanted to show you all my shampoo. Uh, as y'all know, shampoo is not a big thing in my hair care regimen. It's not anything I, I do often. So I'm still shampooing about once a month let's say every six weeks when i remember okay um i don't have a lot of tips on shampoos just because i don't use it a lot all right but moving on um here's my shampoo it is the carol's daughter monoy sulfate free shampoo okay and here it is I know y'all are probably like, I thought you didn't pay a lot of money for your stuff and Carol's daughter is expensive. You're right and that's why I didn't buy this. Um, my mom, <laughs> my mom really liked Carol's daughters but now she's on another kick. So I was like, mm, well, it's some shampoo. I heard Carol's daughters was good so let me try it. Um, I don't have a lot of complaints about this. I also don't have a lot of great things to say necessarily. I don't like shampoo. I'm not a big fan of shampoo, but I am using this. Um, one good thing about it is like, it smells good. That was, that's childish. Um, but it does, it smells good. And I don't feel like it dries out my hair as much as Suave did. So, I mean, that's definitely a plus, but yeah, that's what I'm using for now. Um, I may continue to use this. Uh, probably not because it is expensive and you can't really find this at Walmart so that's where I'm at as far as like my deep conditioning mask I'm still using um, Shea Moisture's deep conditioning mask I think I have a black mask right now but I'm, that's still the same so yeah I just really wanted to follow back up with you all about what I'm using because my last product review about everything that I use um, was probably about two years ago when I first started my channel. So a lot has changed. So I did want to update you all about what I am using these days. So yeah, that's about it. If you all have any questions, concerns, 
or thoughts, feel free to drop them below. Let me know what y'all don't like now so I can reconsider and think about what I'm doing with my hair. Um, like I said, for the most part, everything that I use can be found at Walmart or your local dollar store. Um, please remember that everything I use on my hair is for my hair. So you may get it and you may not like it. And quite frankly, it may not work on your hair. It's all about what you like and what you prefer. But until next time, this is all I got. Just wanted to keep you all informed about my hair care journey. Um, while you're here though, be sure to check out some of my natural hair tutorials as well as the Working Women Spotlight and Talks With Her. So until next time, y'all, be easy. I'll see y'all later. Bye.